to me, this is what really changed my life. This doc, he was a fan. I didn't know he was a fan. I just showed up. He goes, oh my God, you made me all this money. It changed my relationship. He goes on and on. He goes, now I got to be your doctor. I'm like, yeah. And he goes, let me show you your spine. Life as you know it is over. This is literally what his bedside manner was. I was like, you clearly didn't go to my communications. Where's the reinforcement? He goes, no, I'm not. There's no joking here. He goes, you look at this. He goes, let me show you this. He goes, no more snowboarding, no more jumping, no more running. He goes, one good hit, and you might not be able to walk ever again. Wow. And you know, you know when somebody punches you and you're ready for it, you know. <laughs> but if you're not ready, I gotta be honest. I'm usually pretty strong. I was devastated for about two hours. And then, you know, my, my identity kicked in. It was like, this is bullshit. There's always an answer. So I kept asking these docs, what about stem cells? You know, because I obviously heard about stem cells. And I work, you know, work with a lot of the best of all time, greatest athletes ever. And several of them, like Cristiano Ronaldo, right, you know, would have taken him three months to heal. He did in two and a half weeks yep. of stem cells, yep. right? And all my buddies are good. So I said, listen, you're telling me stem cells will do nothing? So I went to Peter Diamandis, who's a dear friend of mine. He's a rocket scientist and a Harvard MD. He's a co-author of my book and a partner in my businesses. And I said, you know everybody. Like, who would give me the real straight scoop on these? And he said, Dr. Bob Harari, who I heard of. He's a great neurosurgeon. And he was one of the first guys that took old rats and gave them young rats' blood. You probably heard the study 38 years ago. Right. And the old rats got younger, the hair dark, the muscles. Mm. And the old rat blood went to the young rats, and they got older. And so that started the whole thing in Silicon Valley about you know young blood and all that mm. stuff. But what it really discovered was the stem cells. So I sat down with him, and he goes, look, Tony, when you turn 40, roughly, your stem cells fall off the cliff. He goes, so these guys that are going, if they want to get an elbow or something like that, you can do your own stem cells. But he goes, for an entire shoulder, and, and what the guy said is spinal stenosis. That was my problem, right? He goes, that's why you've been in pain for 14 years. It's not going away. You can't do these things. He goes, spinal stenosis, you're going to need something more powerful. He said, you need like four-day-old stem cells. And I'm like, I'm not into fetal tissue. He goes, it's not that. So when babies are born, the placenta and the cord. Yep. You know, now people, some people save them, but they didn't for years. Most of it's thrown away. And he goes, it's the force of life that made that baby happen. So I said, where do I go? He told me. I went for three days. Just one IV a day for 25 minutes. Yep. First day, and a shot um, of stem cells, like 150 million stem cells and exosomes. Where did you do it? Did you have to go to Columbia or did you do I went to Panama. States? Panama, originally. Yeah, yeah, Panama yeah. originally. There's better, Antigua now is one of the best places. Yeah, yeah. There's I'm a place sorry, here in there. Ask, is it because it's not allowed in America? It's not legal. No, it's because the differentiation and you have limitations in America, the type right. you can do. The FDA is being super careful as they should be. But yeah. uh, you know, if you want to get something that's there, and that's all changing by the way. Yeah, the yeah, FDA is yeah. starting to move as we speak. But Antigua, the, the prime minister over there wants to make that the center of stem cells. He's a brilliant guy, I got to meet him. Oh, cool. Great team down there. So, so now that's where I go if I want to do an uptake. But the bottom line is I did them. Day one, yeah, I felt tired. Day two, I had a cytokine response. And I knew what it was, so I wasn't scared, but like shaking, freezing for like 25 minutes. And then I went to sleep. And I woke up the next day with no pain, not only in my shoulder, my shoulder's perfect. I got the MRI, never had surgery, nothing wrong with it. But the most amazing thing is no pain in my spine for the first time in 14 years. Wow. So I became obsessed. Yes. Oh, so like, it wasn't I'm, targeted? It was. It actually helped in, in both? They gave me an IV local. as well. They gave me a shot for it, here, it, but IV over. for the whole body. Were right? either of those issues cartilage-based issues or were they muscle-based issues? They're both. They're both? They're okay, both, yeah. because I personally have a severe, severere problem with my right ankle. I'm about to get it fused. Okay, well, I'm going to tell... Please don't get it fused. <laughs> Bro, you're about to... Li 